Hey guys, so today's a little bit different. Uh, we want to talk about some new technologies in the AI world right now. And today I want to talk about the Google's new release research paper for AI videos generator. They call this project the Lumiere. So this is Diffusion's model basically. And uh, you can use that for video generations using text to videos and image to videos and lots of styling. You can play around with this AI videos tools that is created by Google's team. And I saw their demo in here. It is incredible. It is so realistic. Uh, styles and all the characters and the elements in these videos demo is so consistency that I think there's no other AI videos right now on the market can be competing with them. Because as we have tests like Pico Labs Gen 2 AI from Runway and also our most familiar one, the stable videos divisions. Now, most of them, they have some problems when you generate like over three to four seconds. After that, you will see the border of the videos is starting to fading out. It's not being so consistent. Stay informed into one object. But in this demos, their showcase of their videos here is very consistent. Even you see this dock right here and you see this dock right here. Uh, the backgrounds behind the dock, all the houses passing through is, is, is not going to be like uh, fading out or being inconsistent of shape of forms but everything looks so realistic and man this is going to be changed and even one of the weakness I see in all the AI videos generator is the image videos if you upload an image and you want to transform it into videos it's going to be very difficult um, to make it become smooth motions and a very consistency movement of the objects now in this Lumiere, they did very good in everything. That is gonna be breakthrough of the existing AI video generators that we have saw previously. You see all this, the turtle. And then, uh, wow, this one, uh, the Bigfoot is very nice. You see the movement of this walking, although there's some a little bit twisting, but still there's very consistent movement. And then the character is not going to be fading out. And then you see the teddy bear with a roller. And although you see this not like a real camera footage, but then it is actually generated so smooth that the character is actually like in a real place ticking. And man, this is really good. Uh, you look at all this result. Although I believe, yes, these are going to be released soon. These AI videos and all this showcase uh, from them are cherry pick from, uh, from maybe their hundreds of thousands of generate result and they pick the best one but well who doesn't do the best one to do their demonstrations right like even other products you see online you saw them they are using the best one to show us the result even apple do that as well so uh, who cares right but you see the best thing from them uh and they can perform like this and then you see this horse is walking so Consistency without any um, lacking any lick twisted on the horse tails is is very uh, realistically putting in the videos format. And this one is just text to videos and this is image to videos. Like there's many things going on so good about this. So also they have like a stylized generation. So basically you can use one uh, image as a reference for the styles. So basically that is like the image prompt we have in stable diffusions. We put that in the styles and then ask the AI to follow the styles to generate other images. In this way, in Gogo Lumiere, we are generating videos, animations with that. So like this one, um, they're referencing like a cartoon styles. And then all these styles are following the specific uh, of this reference image. And you look at this one, they're using a bright, hot orange backgrounds and then line art and all other. This can be just follow this reference image and generate the new image. Or we call this the animations from this image. And it is so nice that we saw that. Uh, when I saw this research paper, I came up like a lot of ideas that you can do on top of this. And you can even make a business on top of this. Seriously, like some creative agencies, you can use that to make your advertising campaign for your clients. You can make your product, branding, videos, ad and all this kind of stuff. You can just use just AI to create this. Like back in the days, we used to have real cameras and set up everything to shoot photos of uh, products. But then by using this is very simple. 
And the image to videos, I can imagine I can just take one of my pet's product from e-commerce store and take photos of it, upload this and make it moving. Like a video is really easy. Right now, nowadays, uh, we're using AI to creating any digital medias for our brands, our content. So let's take a look at their technical size of how they're doing it and why this is so different with other AI videos generators. So first of all, they are using diffusions model. Um, just like stable diffusions is also putting all the image, all the videos like denoising into little dot pixels and then let the machine to learn this, understand what is that. And then the machine can be uh, regenerate uh, similar things in the future. And the most important thing is that they are using the space-time UNET architecture. Now, as we can see, uh, this UNET is so familiar back then previously in our videos about the rave animations. And yeah, this one, uh, the rave anime diff, this one, and uh, I've talked about this UNET architecture. Now, this is a very good architecture or algorithm that can allow you to produce some consistent styles for animations or videos that they claim and this one can be generated with a longer period of time not just only few seconds but then using this UNET architecture with temporal durations of videos at once so basically they are generating one object in a temporal time and then make this a very consistency by generating all at once in the videos so i have talked about this with other people back then like a few weeks ago about the element diff why the element diff only using element diff model cannot produce consistent like very consistent over 95 percent consistency styles of videos because they are just using image to image as a reference and regenerate all the image frames to animations of that but then if you are using a unit architecture with this kind of technology here now you have a temporal durations of generated time the AI actually understanding the objects in the videos. And then they regenerating that styles into our moving actions or any emotions of that. And that is something that a big proof of AI videos or AI animations by not only using uh, image to image and stacking up all the keyframes, all the image frames, stitching back together. No, that is something that I was talking about before. Um, even in the comment sections in my YouTube channel, I have mentioned that we cannot just expect animate diff like one simple AI models can motions. AI model can generate something uh, that is very consistency. We need something to understand. Uh, the AI can understand the objects and actually regenerating the objects as a whole in one time of the video durations. And uh, Google just helped me to prove this is right. My concept is right but i have not get into the software development for a long time but i i have the basic concept of that i understand that what kind of thing is going on behind the ai stuff so i can explain in this way but technically uh google's achieved this in a real life right now in front of me and i think this is very exciting things for us i like ai animations videos and all this ai stuff and this is very exciting things for me. And I know some of you are um, filming producers and then videos, editors. Lots of you will exciting about this as well. I believe so. Because you see, even all this, like this video stylizations, just like what we did in the Comfy G workflow, yeah, we, we changed the background, we changed the character styles. And, and using this, look at that. Like uh, a color toys, bricks on the characters like that. And every bricks on this is very consistency without twisting, uh, changing colors on every frames. It stays still on this whole video. So is this yellow bricks on top of that, right? So yeah, this is very exciting for me. And you see this cinema graphs. Yeah, the similar graphs, very good. That They're using like an input image. So basically you can somehow upload your image as an input image. And then you highlight these areas and then make these areas moving as the videos or animations like this fires here. Wow. I know that in Gen 2 Runway, Gen 2, uh, they have similar features called a brush. And you can moving stuff by highlighting that in the image. But then they did not did this kind of quality, I believe, because you see this smoke, how smooth they goes. And then the fire in here. Yeah. 
especially this water is very hard for AI to generate like this, like a small little water wave. And they know about the physics of this, that the water is coming to this direction, to the land size, not going like random way of the water directions. Now this is very good that they also understand the physics behind these elements. Now, one of the very exciting things for me is this. When I saw this one, it's like, man, if this release, maybe I'm going to just drop the comfy UI element somehow because just using one source videos and you can transform the character's outfit that is so real and every part of that is like a real dress on top of this character. And man, is mind-blowing for me uh, because like Goku, they did something what I want. And Gogos actually put my concept, my belief into a real actions and make this happen. Although this Lumiere is not released yet, but I believe they're not like those other, uh, some hugging face or GitHub project that is claimed in a very conceptual way and haven't do anything proven yet. Those are, you know, Google is not like that. I believe them because they have something to showing that means they will release this thing soon. And it's very unlike before their large language model in the beginning, uh, first versions they tried to release, but then it's very uh, bad performance in the first step. But then right now it start getting improving in their AI products with other things compared with the market right now. They did really well, especially in the videos like this. And I think why they did very good because they have YouTube. Honestly, YouTube, there's over billions of videos for them to train. There, There's no other AI videos. Company can do Things like training AI videos generator that can creating very realistic videos like this result uh, because Google have a lot of videos in YouTube and they can use that as their training data. So over a billion videos and over a hundred thousand videos per day uploaded on YouTube and there's no way that they have not been good on just, just use that. I'm really looking forward to this AI tools to be released and Man, if this AI still released even as a pay app, I'm willing to pull out my triggers for this product if they are charging for money for this. Because you see all this performance is even better than other AI generator right now. So yeah, let's go check out their white paper or their research paper. Now, this is all the smart people that they create this AI videos generators. And they have mentioned one thing that's very important for us as videos hobbyists. We see this temporal consistent in generating videos. That means they are very heavily concerned about when we creating AI videos, there's always some inconsistency. And then you see that characters movement sometimes doesn't look like smooth or the outfit. Everything is not going to be over 90% consistency, uh, I would say, but in this model, they have create something that is well, I cannot say 100% consistent, but maybe about 95% consistency. When you see this, like a car racing scenes like this, mostly in Pika Lab or Runway, they start fading out the little corner on the top of the Lamborghinis. And then the wheels is not going to stay in forms, uh, sometimes even deforms the wheels, like a wind blowing in pickle apps I tried many times. So if this video generator can do something in this quality, and man, it's just overkilling them like the market is. If they still like other company, if they still keep the way of doing AI videos generator, then it's going to get beaten by the Google. If Google launched this, but then it is a good thing that there's competitions and the market has to be getting things better. And Google just did that over and over again, starting from the search. And then nowadays, all this Goku cloud and collabs and then now it's going to this AI videos generators. And yeah, they did something that is really well and merging this science into art like this. And it's just something that I'm really supporting of. I'm big believer of merging the technologies into this art or visualizations, styles of media, especially they're using this UNAV. When I see these keywords, I was like, remember the rave technologies that we create consistency by using the UNET architecture. And that's how I believe, okay, uh, this model are going to be way better than others because first of all, they are Google, right? They have a lot of hardware servers on, on their site to do something like that. And it's gotta be 
uh, very high performance, like their examples in this page, in their demo page, and with that much of hardware servers that they have. And there's no way it's going to be slow generating for the users or waiting for like a half an hour to get all your result, right? Yeah, I think this is going to be a very good year for us who like using AI, generating videos, animations, all kinds of stuff like that. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this one. So I hope these videos are going to be inspiring. You prepare for something new in AI elements because for me, I don't just stick with one tools. If there is something is better. Although uh, stable diffusions is very good for generating image. But I'm kind of disappointed when the stable video diffusions release. When I test that, it's like there's not really super satisfied for me when SVD released. And now I saw this GoGo -Go videos. AI generator is something that is satisfied me with this kind of quality. And yeah, I hope that they are going to release this AI videos model soon in this year. And we can start playing around with this. Yeah, so I hope these videos inspire you guys. Check it out. I will post these links in the video's description below and check it out. Study this if you want to you because this is very inspiring for us who like AI animations. So talk to you guys soon and have a nice day.